Hello, this video is going to demonstrate how to use iMovie on an iPad. So here I have my iPad and the iMovie app right there is purple with the star. So if I click on that, it brings me into the iMovie app. And here it has some different options. I can pick theater or things that I've already recorded, projects or things that I'm working on now, and that's what I'm going to go into. Uh, and then video is the different video you have on your device. So I'm going to hit the little plus and then that's going to allow me to add a new project and it will ask if I want to add a movie or a trailer. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click movie. Once I click movie, then there are some different options that I can use for what I want my video to look like. I'm just going to keep it simple here and use the simple template and then I hit create. Now at this point I'm ready to start adding media to my movie. Uh, to produce it. Up in the upper right hand corner there are some different options video, photos, and audio. If I click on video and then all it shows me the different videos that I have on my device. If I click on photos and then all it shows me the different uh, photos that I have on my device and if I click on audio it allows me to add some theme music, sound effects, uh, if you had a song on your device you could add a song uh, to your movie as well. So I'm going to click on video here uh, and to add some video. If you don't have any video, uh, this is the video that's on your camera roll. So you could go to your camera roll and you could film something. Otherwise in the lower right hand corner there's this little uh, camera as well and you can uh, record video straight from iMovie. So I'm going to click on this and here it highlights my video in yellow. If I only want to uh, enter part of that video, I can drag the yellow part and it will just insert that part of the video. Otherwise, if I just hit this down arrow, it drops uh, the entire video down. Now I touch my finger down here by the video and I can scroll the video back and forth. If I touch on the video, it gives me some options down here in the corner. Uh, I can change the speed of the video, how fast it plays. Uh, I can change the, how loud the sound is. If I want to have some music come in and I want the video sound to be less, I could do that. Uh, the T adds a title. So if I click on the title, it adds a title in. And then I can click on the title and I can add that in to my movie. Uh, and then the last one, the three little circles, adds a different filter if you want your video to be in black and white or, or have some different uh, effects that way. Now also with the video, uh, let's say I want to only part of it, I want to edit it. If I tap it, what I can do is I can use my finger and I can swipe from top to bottom. And then that cuts that portion of the video. I could do the same thing and I could cut uh, that portion out. And then if I want to get rid of that, I just tap it. And then down here are some options to delete the video. Uh, same thing when I tap it, there's an option right there to split. That does the same thing as what I did with my finger from swiping down. Uh, so there are some different video options. Again, if I want to add a photo, up here I tap on photo. And we're going to put a picture of this guy in. Notice how it kind of moves the photo a little bit to give it a little bit of an effect. Uh, if I want to add in some audio, let's say I want to do sound effects, and I'll add in some applause. Again, it has the little uh, arrow to drop it down into my movie. Now if I tap the applause, I can drag the yellow part to change how long it is. Uh, I can also tap the applause, and now if I hold down on it, I can drag it left or right to change where it is in the movie. Now if I ever want to preview, I just hit this play button right here. And then that will show me a little bit uh, what my movie is about. Here is a transition right in between the video and the movie. I can click on that and when I click on that it gives me some different options of how I want my transition to be. 
Uh, I can pick how long the transition is, uh, whether I want it uh, to dissolve or slide or wipe or fade. So I'll click fade and then that changes the transition a bit. You can also add your voice over a video. Uh, let's say I want to add my voice in. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on the sound. I'm going to turn the sound down to mute for this segment. And then I could hit in the lower right hand corner this little microphone. And then when I'm ready to record, I click record and I can record my voice over top of that sound clip. All right, when you're close to being done with your movie, if you hit this arrow up here, then that will take you back out to your different projects. And what I can do is I can type on the name here, and then I can name my video. So I've named this iMovie Test, uh, so that way I can keep my different projects uh, separate. There's also some different options. These little, uh, right here, there's some different icons. Uh, if I hit this one, that plays my video in full screen on the iPad, so I can get a preview of what it looks like. And then if I hit the one in the middle, that's the share uh, icon, then it gives me some different options on uh, how I can share it. So I could save the video to the camera roll once it's all edited, or I could possibly upload it to YouTube as well. So that's a little bit about iMovie for the iPad. Uh, you can really create some very, uh, very professional looking movies on a mobile device. Uh, hope you have fun making your project. If you have any questions, let me know and have a great day.